Hello, Taurus viewers. I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, just whatever the cards want to say. The last reading I did, I was getting that um, the grass is always greener on the other side. Like, don't romanticize a relationship that might be kind of controlling. Um, you guys have done a lot of healing over this past year. So let's see what, what the cards say. What's in store for you? Publicity, social media, spying. So someone's spying on your social media, it looks like. You might be coming into some money or maybe you're just kind of more abundant. And this person is is noticing you. They're noticing. I also see it as not just abundance, but you can see this person is kind of charming. Like they're, you know, like she's she or he has, you know, they have their makeup done. They have, they're elegant, they're glamorous. So it's like someone's like watching you and kind of seeing you in this type of energy um, on social media. When we have domination and control, let's see what else the cards have to say. End of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom. Make your move, green light. You're ending some kind of karmic cycle right now, it looks like. Yeah, I feel like, let me see if I'm getting this clearly. Is this someone that was, yeah, this is someone that was dominant or controlling in your past. I think that you're going to have your justice. Like, I think that this person hurt you and, like, gaslit you or manipulated you, deceived you a lot. Um, just kind of didn't treat you as well as they could have. And it really feels like, like you're going to have some sort of justice come in. Um, I feel like you have been kind of romanticizing a controlling relationship, but you're about to kind of step out of that energy and level up. And this person's going to notice that they're going to notice that you're kind of moving on without them. So, you know, you've done a lot of healing this year and you're coming into your power. I really feel, and this person's used to having the upper hand. They're used to being dominant and controlling in this connection. They're used to being able to manipulate you and deceive you. And so I almost feel like you're going to end this pattern or this cycle that you've been in. You might be in a cycle with like abusive or emotionally unavailable people. And that might be the pattern that you're finally ending. Like this might be, I feel like whatever relationship this was, this was a karmic lesson for you. And I feel like that karmic lesson is wrapping up now. Like you're, you're learning that lesson now. You're kind of looking back and thinking about it from a different, higher perspective. You're you know, you're just, you're understanding why things had to happen the way that they did. And you're understanding, you know, what you don't want now, like you understand, you know, that that's not a kind of relationship that you want, you know, that that energy is not something that you're going to allow into your life again. You know, you're rising above the loneliness. And I do feel like new love will be coming in for you. I feel like new love has tried to come in, but I almost feel like the person wasn't your usual type. Or you might have just seen them as a friend, so you just kind of overlooked them. So, I mean, I know this group of Tauruses that I channel, you guys have struggled with um, patterns with emotionally unavailable and toxic people. And so it makes it hard because it's like you're praying for love, you're, you're praying for your true love, but the divine can't really bring it in because, you know, of the subconscious patterns because, you know, they, they do bring it in. But you're not physically attracted to the to the person because you're it's not, it's just not in your pattern. You know what I mean? Like it's not. It could be like childhood wounds and issues that are repeating. So you're like praying for true love and wondering what it is, and then the divine brings you these these people, but you just kind of see them as friends, or you just you don't see the potential there. You feel like you know if you do have feelings, you sabotage it or feel like it's too good to be true. It's just that kind of energy or like not not necessarily recently, but just in the past, it feels like you've done that. Like you've prayed for love, but then love has come in and you've just kind of seen them as a friend because, you know, that that subconscious pattern, it's like you're you're not attracted to them because it doesn't um, resonate maybe with what you went through in childhood or what you went through in past relationships. 
um, it's like it's unfamiliar to you. So it like scares you or it just doesn't resonate. Um, and so, so you're finally breaking those patterns. And I feel like this last connection, whoever this person is, and this could be someone from a while ago that's coming back around to try to pull you back into their drama. But whatever the situation was, it feels like you wrapped up a karmic cycle. It feels like you've ended this pattern or cycle, like you're, you're finally like you're learning whatever lesson it was from this, like you're, you're getting it now. You're like, you understand what you don't want in your next connection. You understand like you're learning to set stronger boundaries. You're, you know, you're, you've really done a lot of healing this year. It feels like to, to end those patterns. And it looks like there's some kind of breakthrough and freedom finally coming through. And it's almost like this person is going to see it as like a challenge. Like they're going to feel you, you might be doing cut and clear work. Also, you might be doing like a cut and clear ritual to free yourself from this toxic person and they might feel the cords being cut astrally telepathically and so they might try to weasel their way back in and you know see that as is like a a green light to make their move like oh what, why why do i not feel why am i not able to be a psychic vampire with this person anymore why am i not able to pick up on their energy anymore why are they setting boundaries with me they're gonna you know it could be like physically telepathically um mentally whatever it's like you're just cutting those those cords you're putting walls up you're like no more of this whoever this person is or this could also just be a pattern like maybe it's not a specific person but just a pattern in general that you've been through with people and now you're like you know what no more of this but something or someone is going to come back and try to test you to see how committed you are to this new life that you're trying to manifest make your move green light. Yeah. It's almost like they see it as like a green light. They're like, Oh, are you sure? Are you really, are you, are you sure you're committed to ending this pattern or the cycle? Like, are you sure the breakthrough is in freedom is worth it? Like they're going to come back in like being toxic, um, trying to manipulate you, deceive you again, like trying to pull you back in. Like, where do you think you're going? And so it's going to be a major test that you have coming up. Like how committed are you to ending these, these cycles, this pattern? How committed are you to your freedom, to, to break through, to having, to stepping out of your comfort zone and having, a, you know, love that's different than, than what you've known. Um, it's interesting because I know for Taurus, as I was getting this energy before, but then it's like you kind of came out of it for a little bit because I know what was it like a few months or so, maybe a little over a few months ago, I was channeling someone like some kind of love, but I feel like some of you just weren't used to it. And some of you like sabotaged it or pushed you pushed it away, like challenged it too much. Um, something went wrong there, it feels like. And if this is your reading and you want me to go more in depth, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box. It is dragonenchantress at awol.com. So, yeah. And any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. My um, my donation links are also below in the description box. Okay. And please subscribe if it resonates. So, let's see. Yeah, I feel like you're just going to be tested. Whether it's tested by the divine, tested by this specific person that's used to being able to feed you breadcrumbs and having you follow them. They're, they're not used to you being independent and, and being setting boundaries with them and telling them, no, they're not used to this person's narcissistic. They're not used to being told no. So like, you know, whatever it is, it's challenging the, the divine, a person, a situation, you're going to be challenged in the near future. Um, to really commit to this new life that you're trying to manifest. Beauty, mystery, enchantment. Fear of commitment. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, someone knows that they don't... That they're not able to commit. But they're going to come weasel their way in like, Oh, you're so beautiful and mysterious and enchanting. I just... I'm not good enough. Like gaslighting you almost. Like, oh, I just, I just need to figure my life out. That's why I haven't committed to you. Oh, I... I cheated on you because I was just scared of getting hurt. So I, I went the easy route. I, um, 
I'm abusive towards you because because uh, that's that's what I was taught. I don't know any better. Just like just gaslighting, just so much so much toxic energy. Choosing their words wisely, planning their approach, but in like a sneaky way, like trying to say and do the right thing. So yeah, you're about to. Sorry to not give you guys a more positive reading, but you're about to have a challenge come up, and they're gonna. Yeah, you're gonna get justice. The positive thing though is I think in this situation you needed closure, and. So you have an opportunity here. So if this is like a message you're getting from someone, you have a beautiful opportunity here. You have two different paths. You're at a crossroads. You have two different paths ahead of you. And not all of you are getting a message. For some of you, this is just a general energy of like, it's time to end these cycles and these patterns and know what you deserve and, and you know, step out of your comfort zone and go for maybe go for someone that's not your usual type. Like it's time to, to build genuine self-confidence. And free yourself of this energy and cut the cords on past people and, and really step into this new life, you know, like really step into this new life that you're trying to manifest. What is that quote? Change comes not just from build, not just from, I, I forget what the exact quote is, but I think it's something along the lines of change comes not just from removing or destroying the old, but also from building the new. So you got to do both. Like as you end these patterns and these habits, you also have to have something positive and healthy to replace them with. So many people just like end their toxic patterns. Um, but then they have nothing healthy to replace them with. So it's like someone will like quit smoking, but then they don't like have like another outlet for their stress. So eventually they're just they're just empty. They just feel empty because that's what they're used to relying on. So they they cave and they go back to smoking. So it's like when you end whatever your toxic patterns are, for some of you, it's, it's addictions. For some of you, it's it's for a lot of you, it's it's toxic people and emotionally unavailable people that you're subconsciously attracted to, like body language. Body language is like what, like 90 percent of conversation or yeah, you got to be aware of body language. But whatever these patterns are, it's like you also have to have a healthy replacement. Like you also have to like develop new hobbies, new interests, like things to put your energy into, like healthy outlets that make you happy, like journaling, art, music, whatever it is, like you, you, you know, exercise, yoga, like, um, you know, meditation, uh, you know, create just creativity, just something like you need things. Otherwise you're just going to feel, you're going to cut all the, the past out, all the people out, all the, the addictions, whatever else. And then you're going to feel empty because you're not going to have anything because that's what you're used to. You know what I mean? So it's like, you have to cut it out and heal yourself and do the uncrossing work. But then you also have to bring in this new energy and like these new hobbies and passions and things to, to fill that new void, if that makes sense. So but, but yeah, like I was saying, it's beautiful because you do have a, um, like apology regret coming in. So you do have, it, it's, it's like you have the choice to go down two different roads. I think that you're praying for a new life. And so your guys are kind of testing you. Like they might be testing you by bringing this old toxic person back around. Like, okay, let's show me, show me, you can really handle this new life. Show me that if we bring this new love in that you're not just going to like see them as a friend and hurt them or sabotage them or bring your, your toxic patterns from your old relationships into this, like show, show us, show us. Cause like they might have a soulmate in mind for you and they, they don't want to get the soulmate hurt though. They don't want to bring the soulmate in and have you repeat the old patterns. So they might, they might be trying to get you to prove yourself, honestly. Um, because for this group, I did, I was getting love for you guys for a while. This was like last year. I was picking up the energy of love, but I don't know what happened. I don't know if it got sabotaged. They weren't your usual type. I don't know what happened with that, but something, something ended there. Um, it seems like, because they're not coming up in my reads anymore. But yeah, anyway, sorry. So you, sometimes when I channel, I just go on a tangent. But what I was saying is with the apology regret card is you have this beautiful choice. Like you have this crossroads. Um, that you're at where you can have, you can go back to your old life and stay in that karmic cycle for months, years, however long, or you have like this portal open to go into this new life and it's going to be scary and uncomfortable and unfamiliar. And it's going to challenge you to push yourself out of your comfort zone, but worth it in the long run. So you get, you have to decide between these two paths basically. Cause I think for a lot of you, this per this toxic person's coming in with like an apology, regret, and it's like, and you know, better. You know better. Like they're gonna gaslight you and they're gonna manipulate you and say, "Oh, baby, I've changed. I, I, I won't. I promise I won't be abusive again. I promise I won't ghost you again. I promise I won't do this and this and this." Like 
They're they're used they're narcissistic. They're used to you doing what they want. They're used to having the control and they don't like that you're freeing yourself. So a lot of them are going to come crawling back in. And I do want to say if you do a cut and clear spell and someone messages you and you want to message back and get closure with them, you can do that, but you need to repeat the cut and clear spell afterwards because how it works is if you do a cut and clear ritual, the cords will reattach if you talk to the person after doing the ritual. So after you do a cut and clears rituals, you really need to like block them and be done with them for good. Otherwise the cords come back. But I mean, like I said, you can cut and clear them and get the closure from them if they message and then cut and clear again. Just do, just repeat the ritual. It's not that big of a deal. And I have the ritual done on my, um, on my page, just scroll back and find it. It was about like, maybe like a month or so ago that we did that. So look for that ritual here on my, in my videos. But, um, but yeah, anyway, so it's like, they're going to gaslight you and manipulate you and, and try to test the waters and be like, what do you, what is, what do they mean? They're moving on from me. I don't think so. Like, like they're, they're going to notice the cords cut and that they can't feed on your energy anymore. And you know, it's up to you. You have this choice. Do you, you know, better, you know, better though. Like you, you know, better by now, you know, this person's toxic. This isn't someone that's like kind of good to you, but like, maybe they're a little scared. No, this is like, you know, they're not good. Like, but you're you get caught up in the moment and you get you it sounds good so you believe it so it's kind of a test like are you gonna are you gonna do that are you gonna be honest with yourself and cut this out and know what you deserve and work towards what you deserve or are you gonna give in to the loneliness and go back to these old patterns you know like your guys want to know are you committed to this new life or are you gonna give in to the loneliness and just stay with what you've got you know stay with what you're used to because if you want something you've never had, you got to do something you've never done. But um, but yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful that you have that choice between you know going back to the old and and you know and telling this person no and getting the closure. And it's 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 justice for you too because you're going to get that closure. They when this person comes in, they're going to suspect a hundred percent that they're going to be able to drag you back in somehow. It will catch them so off guard if you tell them no and block them. They're not going to see it coming. So you have that chance to be able to be the one that tells them no, to be able to reject them for a change and free yourself from this and get your justice and move forward. But but if you go back with this person, if you go back, if you get sucked in because it sounds, you know, they they're telling you everything you want to hear and they will tell you everything that you want to hear. Um, you get sucked back in. It's going to be another karmic cycle. It's going to and you're going to sabotage a soulmate relationship that could have come in in its place so it's up to you um anyway like i said uh, my my e my info is below if you want a reading just just message me bye just email me